who marriages were registered during the lockdown and this week the further easing of restrictions saw more couples take the plunge. Arriving to say I do. Sharon Dowling had planned on a bigger wedding but she and her partner Keith decided to stick to their date and get married today. The Spiritualist Union Sanctuary only opened for weddings again this week. They were waiting for restrictions to ease to allow for social gatherings of more than four before moving to marry couples again. What we are focusing on this week is marriages. There wouldn't necessarily be a wedding. A wedding would be the celebration that occurs afterwards. And because marriage is protected by the Constitution, uh, we have been facilitating marriage ceremonies here, micro uh, ceremonies. Restrictions on numbers meant that some guests had to peer in from outside, but they could also follow proceedings on Zoom. And despite the constraints, the couple embraced the day. Kind of went with the flow and it was, I wouldn't change a thing, it was lovely. Yep, yeah, same here, I assumed you were kind of getting married in an office. So when I arrived here today and seeing the candles and the lights and colourful walls, and it was brilliant, yeah. You know, it's still exciting, it's still fun, it's still nerves, still everything, so it's all still there, it's just smaller. Some marriages also took place even before restrictions were further eased this week. 82 marriages were registered with a ceremony date between the 28th of March and the 7th of June. Father John Bracken solemnised two of those marriages. The couples checked with the registrar to see if it was possible and then I uh, checked with the diocese and with regard to as um, long as there was less than 10 people. The couples chose to get married because that was the date they had planned. It really was the desire and the, just their love. They wanted to get married on that day and be married. It has fallen largely to secular and religious solemnizers to interpret the COVID-19 guidelines to see if couples like Sharon and Keith can say I do if they want to. Registry offices remain closed for the time being. Laura Fletcher, RTE News.